guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you how I recreated a tumbler that I drew in Procreate. I just recently got an iPad and I'm super super excited and this is what I drew up in Procreate. So let's go ahead and see if I can recreate this tumbler the best that I possibly can. Let's go. I'm starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts that I base painted white. And I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and a smaller sized paintbrush and I'm going to kind of map out where I want my first bit of glitter to be. And I'm gonna kind of do like a wobbly, try to make it look like kind of like a hillside maybe. Have some of it come up further than others. Some of it stay down, like so. And then I'm gonna bring that Mod Podge down to the very bottom. This is where my snow is going to be. And of course for the snow, I'm just gonna use some white glitter, but it was really easy to kind of just like map that out. Now for my white glitter, I'm gonna use Moonlight Mist from the Glitter Grind. And it is so, so pretty. It's a really ultra fine white glitter, but it has like a very subtle opal tint to it. So I think it makes for a really pretty snow glitter because it has just like that extra like shine, kind of looks like the moon is glistening on the snow, which is perfect for the style of tumbler that I'm making. So now I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to seal it because if any other glitter from up here gets on my white glitter down here, um, if it's sealed, I'll be able to take like a little paintbrush and kind of brush it off. So I'm going to let this sit for about five or 10 minutes, spray seal it with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel, and then come back and do the rest of the glitter. All right, so now this is sealed. So if I have to brush some stuff off of it, it will be absolutely okay to do so. So now I'm gonna create a three-tone ombre with different blues. This is Into the Deep. This one is Free Fall. Whoops, Free Fall, <laughs> I dropped it and it fell. This one is Free Fall and this one is Blueberry. These are all really, really beautiful blues from the Glitter Grind. And I'm gonna start with um, the lightest one at the bottom. Of course, this one in the middle and then this one at the top. So I'm creating kind of like well what I'm trying to create is like a um like a nightfall kind of sky so again going in with my Mod Podge and I'm going to cover up the rest of the tumbler that doesn't have glitter on it I'm going to be really really careful around where I already have glitter because unlike most tumblers where I do something like this there's not going to be any um like vinyl stripes to help with the look of the tumbler. So I actually, something just popped into my head that I might try, but um, I don't know yet, we'll see. So I'm just gonna be really, really careful around the snowy hillside that I have going on here. And I'm gonna start with the lightest one at the bottom. So the ombre isn't really going to be around the hill, so I'm not tilting or doing anything yet until I get that covered. Now I'm going to tilt just slightly because I don't want it to fall too far down because I do have three glitters that I need to try to fit onto this tumbler, what remaining space that I have left. But I am trying to make just a subtle, small ombre like so. Now I'm going to go in with free fall and start mapping out where I want that to be and then tilt downwards ever so slightly and let that ombre onto that first one. I don't want it to go down too far so I'm trying to be really really careful. I love ombres I just really wish I was better at them. <laughs> Now I'm going to tilt the other way and let that ombre fall upwards or yeah, upwards on the cup, but you know, it's falling down. 
Now I'm going to cover the rest of the tumbler in blueberry. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the top here. And I have some spots that I need to fix because the Mod Podge dried. So there we have it. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and dry. And then of course I'll spray seal it with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. I'm going to pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. Add one, maybe two coats of epoxy, probably two. And then I will come back for decal day. All right, so it's the next day. There is one coat of epoxy on this and I feel like it is good enough to move on to a decal. So I have three really gorgeous sets of decals here. This one, and they're all from Creative Fabrica, Santa flying his reindeer, some pine trees. I'm assuming, are these pine trees? I don't know. They're Christmas tree looking things. And this one says, and to all a good night. And I'm going to go ahead and place them on my tumbler. Just, I kind of have an idea of how I want them, but um, we'll see how that really goes. So I've got my cup cradle here ready to go to keep my um, tumbler nice and straight so I can work on these without them rolling around all over the place. And I think I'm going to start with Into All A Good Night because there's some pieces that I'm going to reverse weed and it's just like driving me nuts and I, I just want to get it on the tumbler so I can take those pieces off. And I want to put this like as high up as I can because I want to have room for Santa and his reindeer to take flight on the tumbler somewhere near these words. Shoo, okay, now I can reverse weed those pieces out. It was driving me insane. And like, I tried to do it while it was still on the backing. And I don't know, it's just, this was so like delicate. It was hard to do it without like, the pieces moving all around and potentially ruining it, ruining it. And I didn't want to have to cut it out again because <laughs> I'm impatient. All right. Now Mr. Claus and his reindeer can go on there. And I kind of want to put him at like an angle flying up from the snow down here. So kind of like, hang on, let me get this centered again. Like right there maybe just kind of like taken off from the snow and then I cut out five of these little I'm gonna call them pine trees I'm sorry if that's not right but I just wanted to kind of like fill in some blank space around the back so I'm gonna place I'm sure I won't use all five of them because that's a lot but I don't know I might put one like here just, just fill in some blank space with them. Now I'm gonna go in with Titanium White Arteza Acrylic Marker and I'm just going to add just a few little stars in the sky here. Not a ton but just enough to kind of make it look like a nice, pretty starry night. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is let this dry for about 20 minutes or so. Just wanna make sure that I don't smear that marker around. And then I'm gonna pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups. I'm gonna add the finishing coats of epoxy and this will be done. After some epoxy, I think this is so stinking cute. I love it. And this was my first tumbler that I've ever made based off of a Procreate drawing. So that was so much fun and I cannot wait to do more of those types of tumblers. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, the only impossible journey is the one you never begin. That is all I have for y'all today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like this tumbler. It is very, very simple, but I think it is stinking adorable. And like always, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!